Hey, what's going on guys? Brian here, Brian's All Maintenance. Trust you guys are doing well. Look at this, brand new F-350. Just came in a couple days ago. Super excited about this. Hey, really quick, it's late night Tuesday night. We're gonna do a little Truck Talk Tuesday video, a little Truck Talk Tuesday series maybe over the next four to six weeks, answering you guys' questions that I can about the brand new truck that we just got in. This is a 2022 F-350 Super Duty with the rapid red color the black appearance package, and it has the Lariat Ultimate trim. Now here's the deal, we also did spring for that 7.3 gas motor, the Godzilla motor, and you know what? We've had this thing for about 20 miles now, for about maybe a week. I'm telling you what, it is a boss of a truck. You guys want a little walk around? Let's check it out. All right, so you guys can see here, brand new truck, and by the way, I'm hoping the color comes through on this camera because this is one of the most beautiful color combos and packages that I've seen lately on trucks, especially with the Super Duties. Now, here's the deal. This is that rapid red. They didn't do the race red, unfortunately, with the blackout appearance package. I would have loved to keep it cohesive with our first truck, Thunder, that you guys know and love. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't do the race red with the blackout appearance. So we went with the rapid red. It has this beautiful kind of like red flake in there. Uh, it looks absolutely beautiful with the truck and trailer combo that we have rocking right now with the business. We will be plowing snow with this thing. Uh, I'm not sure yet if we're gonna put a a Boss 92 DXT up front, or maybe an EXT, something like that. We did get the 350, so we've got some different options there. I don't know, maybe the new F12 or F14 Snow Power, maybe more on that later. Now, here's the deal. This right here, we ordered this November 2nd, so it took about six months for this truck to come on in, which is kind of crazy. I'm thankful it didn't take seven or eight months, however, six months to get a truck. I think we're all kind of used to it now, but man, that just wouldn't be a conversation a year or two ago, amen? Now, as you guys can see, <clears throat> the blackout appearance package, black tow hooks, black front grill. First time in like 100 years, they've started to black out the oval, something that you don't typically see. With the Larry Ultimate package, we did get the super nice clean LED lights. Also, the black, I think 20s, and the blacked out mirrors, as well as the blackout badging, right? And then uh, the black uh, running boards as well. I'll show you guys the inside. We'll do a little startup here as well, but... For the most part, I'm hoping to keep the truck pretty stock the way it is. I don't plan to add a bunch of crap to it other than a plow. It will be plowing snow, absolutely. This is no pavement princess, it's a work truck. However, I will say this, in time, maybe one day, once we have a little bit larger family and the kids are getting a little bit bigger, I would love to get a fifth wheel option here or at least a tow behind camper, right? So I did go with the 350 for that reason and also the larger gas engine. I'm sure somebody's gonna love to criticize. Why didn't we go with the diesel? However, to add the diesel engine was like another 10 or 12 grand. And right now at the time of filming this video, diesel is almost five to six bucks a gallon, which is absolutely wild. So let me give you guys a quick little walk around on the truck. If you guys wanna shoot a big thumbs up, super appreciate that. Hey, you guys don't know that entrepreneurship, there's good days, there's bad days. This right here is definitely one of those good days and good weeks. By the way, I'm really excited about expanding the capacity of our business, not only in the plow game, but you guys know we have that other utility trailer that's gonna give us the options to basically pull another mower around if we need to, do landscaping jobs if we need to, pull that mulch force around, and God knows what else, maybe a tractor one day or even a skid steer. All right, let me show you guys the interior really quick. We're gonna start it up and I'll show you guys what we're doing with. All right, we already got the WeatherTech floor mats in here. Thing looks absolutely boss super clean and check out that screen um, if anybody knows how long or why that screen is let me know in the comments I think 12 12.1 inches something like that pretty similar to a lot of your super duties that you guys know and love most of you guys have a 250 or you know Chevy 3500 2500 they did change the buttons here a little bit on the dash that's one of the things I did notice by the way I already have some things that I do like and some things I don't like we'll do some more future videos on that later you guys can see they had a uh, added a wireless charging pad down there, which is probably going to be useless. Um, but overall, but overall, pretty similar interior that you guys are used to. Well, we got the car seat in there, and that is the back area. We did get the auxiliary switches and also the moonroof here. I'll show you guys the back seats one more time. 
This is the typical setup of an F-250 Super Duty. We've got the uh, 110 outlet, which might be new for the rear. And then we also have a USB, USB-C port as well. Got some new tools that we got in here to get things going. We got some Ballard trimmer line. That's how you know it's already turning into a work truck. <laughs> And I did spring for the rear heated seats. Now, if you guys would like to see a price breakdown video, all the packages, all the pricing, what we paid for it, how we paid for it, uh, let me know, maybe a follow-up video if you guys have some interest in that. Um, I don't know if everybody cares, but at the same point, it's always fun to know what other people are paying for these things and the kind of deal that you guys got. I know I appreciate videos like that. Power rear window, which is pretty cool. And again, the truck just sits nice. It just sits clean. And I love the color. At first, I wasn't sure if I was going to like this rapid red. Again, I was trying to go with that race red, uh, but unfortunately, wasn't available with the blackout. Uh, one thing here, this is a full-blown 3-inch receiver. They uh, changed this about a year ago, maybe two years ago now, on all the Super Duties. At least the 350s. It's a 3-inch receiver. We have a Rhino hitch on order. That should be coming here soon. And then rear backup cam. Oh, I will start the truck up here in a second. I'll show you this rear backup cam. It is super nice. This has the integrated step with the handle. I missed that because with my other truck, we have our dump insert. Haven't used that in a while. Now I will be putting the back rack bar on this truck, the one that we got for the red F-250 Thunder, my first truck. Uh, Got to put that on another day when I get some free time. All right, so you guys can see all the different buttons here that we have now on the screen. Super nice. Uh, heated and cooled seats down here, as you guys might be able to see with that Larry Ultimate package. And one thing I will show you guys here is the rear backup cam because I think it's worth noting and checking out. So this is different for 2022 or maybe even 2021. I'm not sure if they put the screen on this last year, but look at that screen. That is freaking wild. Uh, that's cheating for sure if you guys are trying to back up a trailer. Somebody said that on the tailgate as well, there's uh, lights that indicate up or down whether or not you're overloaded. So you guys can see as we turn, got the lane assist. Pretty cool there. Uh, this screen is wild. You guys all know like in the old Chevys and Fords, they had a little three inch by two inch screen or whatever it was. And then more recently, the newer trucks, you got the, uh, I don't know, five by seven. I think this is like a full 12 inches, something like that. So that absolutely looks beautiful. Quick little flip through here. You got CarPlay. We've got navigation, favorites, apps, settings, all of this. Uh, we can do another video if you guys want to see how the infotainment system works. And yeah, that's pretty much the inside. Like I was mentioning earlier, we've got 164 miles on the truck. So I lied. We have a little bit more than I said. Uh, right now, we're averaging 10.7 miles to the gallon. All right, well, you guys know my story. It has been a couple years in the making with all the work that we've been doing. We have been mowing grass, growing the landscaping company. I'll tell you what, it feels good to be winning. It feels good to buy something nice like this to reward yourself. It's a work truck. Some people are gonna call this a pavement princess. Do you need to buy a $70,000 truck to grow your business? Absolutely not. Sometimes it's nice buying your wants, not just your needs, right Tigran? But any which way. This is a cool truck, this is a gift to myself. It's definitely gonna be used in the company. You know what? I'm excited about getting this thing dirty, making some money with it, and growing our business, taking things to the next level. That's what I got for you guys in today's quick video. If you wanna drop a comment down below, let me know if you wanna see anything specifically about the truck, or if you guys got any questions. By the way, do you guys have a truck on order? If so, how long did it take you guys to get yours in? Took me six freaking months to get this thing. Absolutely wild. Any which way, guys, super appreciate you. Super appreciate all the support through the years. Business is booming. Life is growing. We're just trying to crush it just like you guys. Over and out. You guys have a beautiful rest of the night. We'll catch up with you guys here on the next one, all right?